Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to set up an MT Connect adapter for our Fanuc FS0ID on an Ubuntu Linux machine. Now, the original MT Connect adapters are written for Windows. This is going to be a challenge. We're going to edit the source code, compile, and get it running in Ubuntu Linux. In the end, you'll see it's not that hard at all. Okay, the disk that came with Fanuc uh, Focus Library has some documentation on how to install the shared library in Linux. That's the first step in getting the MT Connect adapter running in Linux. Right now we'll just follow those directions right out of the manual to install the shared library uh, so we're able to use it and compile our source code against it. The, um, after the shared library is installed we're going to go ahead and download the software from GitHub now the uh, software on GitHub is made more for a Windows compile, not for a Linux compile, so we're going to have to change some of the source code. So we'll git clone our github.com MT Connect adapter, and once that finishes, we're going to need to rearrange the files. So now our next step here is to rearrange the files. We don't need all the files that are downloaded from GitHub, uh, just a portion of them. And just to cheat a little, we're going to dump them all into the same directory um, and compile from there. And it makes the compile a little bit easier without making a CMake file. We can compile directly with G++. So we're going to use some wildcards. We're going to copy some individual files all to a folder called Fanuc. Of course, we need our source files, our header files, and some dependency files we're going to copy as well. Um, and our next step after we copy all these files is going to be to edit the source code. Now the um, you probably could do this just from the adapter that's downloaded. You could make a CMake file. I hope somebody does in the future. But uh, this is just a down and dirty easy way to get this up and running on Ubuntu Linux. And our min i and i should be our last file to download. Okay, now that we've got all of our files in the folder called Fanuc, we're going to go and edit the source file. There's only one source file we need to edit, and that is the Fanuc underscore adapter dot cpp. And in that we're going to make some changes. First change is except dot h is a Windows function. We're going to get rid of that. Sleep is a Windows function. We're going to change that to the POSIX sleep five seconds. String case comp again, Windows function. We're going to change it to a POSIX C function. Our try, this is where our, our accept.h was being used. We're going to change this to a standard C try and catch. And we don't know the exception. So we'll just make this a little wild card. Okay, so our source code, uh, we've changed what was out of compliance. With our source code, now we're going to add some portions for Linux. Uh, Linux requires, the focus library for Linux requires some logging. So we're going to set some parameters for the logging. A file name that we have access to that's going to uh, read write access. You might have to chmod the file after. There's our, our pointer to our file. And before we call our, our CNC all CLIB handle, we're going to do the startup process, which starts our log. Then at the end, when we free the handle, after we free the handle, we need to stop our processes. Uh, we're using a P thread, I believe, in the focus library. The exit process is going to and the thread for us. So once we've changed our source code, it's on to um, copying the focus header. So off the focus CD from Fanuc, we'll copy the header file into our Fanuc directory so that the compiler can find it and uh, be able to find the link to the shared library. With the header file copied, next we're going to compile. You're going to want to pause this section, write down the big long string in order to compile. After a successful compile, 
we end up with the adapter file and to run that in bash decimal forward slash adapter let's change to a screen first so we don't block our process debug and we're gonna to have to say where the INI file is and there it is we connected to our CNC everything's done let's just make sure we're listening yep there's our 7878 adapter and our 5000 agent thank you for taking the time to watch this video I really appreciate it if you want more videos check out my blog at www.ellisware.com slash wordpress and make sure you subscribe to get all of our videos on MT Connect.